Next, we need to understand one of the most basic and important concept of DOM or document object model. Okay, so what is document object model and why you need to understand this is very important, right? So any HTML document or any HTML code you write. So how it goes on to the browser window. So it, it is converted to a series of uh, head header tags, footer tags, body tag, all of these, right? So see all of this head, body, div elements, UI element, UL elements, footer elements, all of these, right? So see, whatever code, HTML code you're writing, it is being converted to some entity. Let's call that entity as DOM, document object model. So what is the reason behind it? And what is the advantage? So technically, when your browser is rendering the HTML document, it is being displayed as is. So it is a templating language. So if you click on the view page source, right, you see that whatever HTML you are writing, it is being rendered as it is. Now, if you want to perform any of the programming uh, logics, like you want to change the uh, thing which is appearing here by clicking on a button or any of the programming implementations, then how do you do that? Because it is being displayed as a plain text, right? So for that programming interface on the web documents, browser is converting this particular HTML document into a memory object, which is the logical representation of this document. So DOM is nothing but logical representation of the HTML document. And what is the advantage of it? You will have granular control on each element. So if you want to change the text of what is displayed on the title, so what is title, whatever is being displayed over here. So if you want to change the title or if you want to change the body, maybe you are displaying some page and you want to navigate when I click on this button, then all of these programming logic can be easily applied on the logical interface rather than a plain text. So that is how that is how DOM has been leveraged by various libraries or frameworks. And that's why we were able to modify the HTML page dynamically by applying JavaScript concepts. So document object model is something which is given to us by the browser window. And it is a logical representation of the HTML document or the CSS, we'll look into it. What are the two different DOMs are present so that you can change it as per your needs. So understanding this is also really important on moving on to the React JS.